the reality is and see this is something that that bothered me when I left the church out of um, frustration because I, wa I wasn't hearing these things because the Bible tells us what Jesus looked like when he walked here the Bible tells us what he's going to look like when he comes back we have taken that and changed it my um, one of my grandchildren when he was about eight years old I have a black nativity in my home uh, that I put out at Christmas and he had been there several times and all of a sudden one day he brings me the baby Jesus and he says mama this is not right and I said what's not right he said this is not right mama now this is a child that every time he's with me he gets lessons in this my son says to the point to where he has to deprogram them when he gets them back home this child knows where my heart is this child but he's this not right mama what's wrong tell me Jesus wasn't black Jesus was white who told you that and then we have this great conversation I tell them it's not something you have to go back and fight you don't have to go because I don't want them beaten down until they're strong enough to know for what they believe you know but I want them to know the truth I said in your mind in your heart know do you remember when Jesus went to Egypt he hid in Egypt the people in Egypt honey they're they're not white people how could he hide that see so that we've done that we've given your people a God that looks like me so that you don't have any qualm about bowing down to me see because this is the image of God I don't know of any sin that we've committed that's greater than that one and we did it with the Bible in our hands when we were beating your ancestors for looking at us eye to eye and we're quoting to them from this scripture even if, if we allowed them to have their own ministers which there weren't many of because we didn't allow them to read but if we said okay you can have your church this is my plantation I'm going to do what I want with it you can have your church but then spies were sent and those spies would stand outside the church and that man would be beaten perhaps killed if he preached anything other than three sermons and those three sermons were turn the other cheek obey your master and it's going to get better one of these days God's going to take care of all of it you're going to be in a happy happy land so put up with what you're putting up with now and we made your people preach that to your people and it's still being done it's still being done those are the sermons that your people hear those sermons are what causes your people to comfort me when I do something that's wrong. 